What's up, world? It's Monday, March 12th, 2018. I'm here at yournewswire.com. As you can see, the title is Italy Blacklists Freemasons for Infiltrating Highest Levels of Government. This article was posted on March 10th. Italy has blacklisted the Freemasons after a police investigation revealed that top politicians were ordered by the secret society to influence government policy. Under new laws, politicians will be forced to publicly declare if they are a Freemason. Failure to do so could result in a prison sentence. The Times.co.uk reports the legislation is being proposed after police raids on the four largest Freemasonry orders in Italy discovered 193 mob-linked Masons on the order's secret membership lists in Sicily and Calabria, southern Italy. The findings were published last month by the Italian Parliament's Anti-Mafia Commission, which alleged that mobsters use secret lodge meetings to do business with politicians and entrepreneurs. Laws proposed by the commission would ban magistrates from joining the Masons and compel public officials to say if they are members. Rosie Bindi, the commission president, said she also hoped to compel Masons to compile proper membership lists. About 25% of the names that were found on their lists were just initials or in code, she said. There was no transparency and we believe society should keep proper records. The threat to end Masonic secrecy provoked a storm of protests from members who claimed that the law is inspired by the ban on the orders put in place by the fascist dictator Benito Mussolini in 1925. These new proposals are a throwback to the fascist ban and are a wider threat to democracy as a whole, said Stefano Bisi, Grand Master of the Grand Orient d'Italia, Italy's largest order, which has 23,000 members. Mr. Bisi, 60, a former journalist, oversees the order from its headquarters in an elegant 17th century villa surrounded by palm lined gardens near the Jan Janiculum Hill in Rome. Pride of place at the villa is a portrait of Giuseppe. Garibaldi, who fought to unify Italy and was ahead of the order. If any mafiosi have infiltrated our order, we have a good record in kicking them out, Mr. B.C. said. 193 cases among 17,000 members and applicants in Sicily and Calabria is about 1%, he added. Mr. B.C. said Italian Masons were right to keep their membership secret due to prejudice against them in Italy, dating back to fascism, but also linked to hostility from the Roman Catholic Church. They excommunicated us in 1738, yet we never burned anyone, he said. Admitted that the reputation of Italian masonry suffered in the 1970s with the discovery of the ultra-right-wing P2 Lodge, which was implicated in corruption linked to the suspected murder of the banker Roberto Calvi in London and included Secret Service chiefs and a young Silvio Berlusconi on its books. Italian Masons were, however, more involved in charity work today, he added. Every citizen has the right to state publicly or not whether he attends a church, a mosque, a lodge, or even the Boy Scouts, Mr. B.C. said. Why should there be an obligation to declare it? So another interesting article here from your Newswire. I just wanted to go ahead and share with everyone. Please leave your comments and opinions and let me know what you think. Take care. God bless.